Hello all and welcome to the channel Tech and More. So today we are going to talk about the differentiation between test case and test scenario as briefly as possible. So let's start. So before going into the definitions and everything, I would like to show you this particular flowchart on the screen which says test scenario can have multiple test cases. So basically test scenarios are the parent of multiple test cases. Why am I showing this? Why am I explaining this? Will make more sense when I go into the next definitions. But I want you to have a memory of this and as as we proceed, right? So now straight away, let's go to test scenario. I will try to explain things with the help of examples. My aim is to make you understand rather than the technical de definitions. So you can have a look at the definition on the screen. But honestly, I would say that do not say this definition in an interview because that is a theoretical thing. You need to explain with examples and that is how you prove your knowledge. So without any other uh, different uh, boring pointers, let's straight away jump to the example for a test scenario. So when you say that validate the login functionality of an e-commerce application, that is a test scenario, right? Now, what is a test case? Test case, one example can, can be for the login functionality, check when you enter correct username and correct password, are you able to log in? That is test case number one. Then when you enter correct username and incorrect password, are you able to log in? You should not, right? And then same for incorrect username and correct password and then incorrect username, incorrect password, I mean, n number of combinations. So. Validating the complete functionality of login page is one test scenario, right? But then trying it with different credentials turn out to be different test cases, right? So that is how you differentiate between test scenario and test case. It is as simple as that. You can have a look at the definition that there is, but I wanted to explain it in the least uh, difficult manner as possible. Now you see a website on the, uh, on, on the screen right now, if this is a test website, you can go ahead and you can try different functionalities and test out different uh, components. That is why I given the URL and everything. But as you can see on the screen, there is a login page, right? So when I say that validate the login functionality of this particular application, I am saying it as a test scenario that is parent. That is the major superset. When I say test whether with correct, incorrect, I am able to log in or not. And these multiple conditions, they become test cases, the su subsets or the child of test scenario, right? I hope with this example, with this uh, UI, it is quite clear. So that is all the difference between test case and test scenario. That is all, right? Now, uh, the last slide on the screen, that says the detailed difference. I will not bore you with the details and everything. It is just there for you to have a look at it because someone might ask you that, okay, you have explained the difference very nicely, but what else? So therein you can give one or more two pointers, right? So have a look at this, the, keep it as a screenshot or every, anything and just give it a quick read, that is all. So all in all, that is all you need to know about test case and test scenario. And to your interviewer, if you give this particular example with this particular detail, or she or he will be completely satisfied with the answer. So I hope that when you get this question in your interview, you'll be able to, for sure, you'll be able to crack this one, uh, but yes, of course, if you have any feedbacks, any improvements, any suggestions for us, please feel free to comment and we make sure to get back within 24 hours. So thank you for watching and uh, see you in upcoming videos. Thank you so much.